Hi, I'm Margaret, and today's recipe is a Valentine's Day treat. To start off, I'm spreading coconut oil over the base of an 8 inch square tin. It needs plenty of baking paper. And plenty more coconut oil. I use coconut oil because it's a lovely sweet flavour and goes really well with these marshmallows. Next, we want the sugar and the honey into a heavy bottom saucepan. Corn syrup is the usual ingredient here, but I thought honey would give a lovely flavour. I'll put this over a low heat so the sugar dissolves nicely. And while it's doing that, into the water goes the gelatin. It will need about 10 minutes to bloom before we use it. Now I've got this over quite a low heat until that sugar dissolves. You can stir this right up until the sugar has disappeared. Then you need to leave it to come to the boil and to bubble. It needs to reach the right temperature. I like to use water to brush around the pan to prevent crystals from forming. It's on a good steady boil now. And it's reached the right temperature. So I'll take it off the heat. Back to that gelatin. I'm breaking it up now. Just before I add the sugar syrup that I've been making. And I'm going to drizzle it very slowly down the side of the bowl while mixing all the time. It takes a little while, but it's important it goes in slowly. That way it'll make the right consistency. Let's speed this little bit up. Brushing down the sides, making sure it's all mixed in nicely. You can see as we add more honey syrup and as we whisk, it becomes fluffy. Gently, gently down the side. This honey gives the marshmallows a wonderful flavour and a slightly golden look. Once it's all in, we need to whisk and whisk until a thread of the mixture becomes a long ribbon. Not quite yet, we can see the ribbon breaking. Let's mix a little bit more. No, a little more. And I think that should be it. There we go. That's just about ready. Now we need to work quite smartly here because it will start to set. 
So let's pour the mixture into the prepared tin. And if there are bubbles on top, poke them with something sharp. And that now needs to be left at room temperature for a few hours or overnight until it's completely set. And when it is, we pop it onto a dusted board This dust is half and half icing sugar and corn flour. I've got 70 grams of each and I've sifted it over the board. That paper's a bit persistent. It's such a sticky mixture. Let's dust it with that dusting powder to make it a bit more manageable. And as it's Valentine's Day, we're going to make little hearts. Again, I'm brushing it with the coconut oil so it doesn't stick to the marshmallow. Pushing straight down and out comes a beautiful little marshmallow heart. Let's try and get as many as we can out of this. Try and fit the cuts together like a jigsaw. I've managed to make about six big ones. I also got a few little ones in there as well. Now this isn't going to go to waste. I'm going to use this to make marshmallow icing. Let's just make sure all the edges are covered with the dust before we pop them on a plate. Next, we're going to need some tempered chocolate. I've chosen white today and I've got a few sprinkles with little hearts in. So just dip the marshmallow into the chocolate. You might need to let some of the excess chocolate drip off. There we go. And just pop it into the sprinkles. And there you have a lovely little marshmallow heart treat. And there's a couple I made earlier. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a great week and I'll catch you again very soon.